just uh, Lane said he challenged the offensive line last week, was going to challenge the defense this week. Just kind of what was the message of that challenge these first couple of days? Uh, we love the challenge. We had an unfortunate performance that can't happen again, and we know that. And we're up to the challenge. We want everything on our back, and we're ready to stand on everything. What 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 was what did he kind of say to y'all if he has kind of had that that meeting with y'all? Um, it was more of a team thing. Everything's team, so team oriented. So it was basically put that to bed. No matter if it was the offense good or defense bad, this is a new week and new challenges. So we're looking forward to it. How would you kind of assess your play against LSU and? What are some things you're looking to improve on going into Arkansas? Uh, I think um, my play was solid. Those tackles, I missed four tackles. That can't happen. So really ready to emphasize that this week, and we did it today. We were physical today, and so we just got to carry it on through the week. I guess having to, I guess having to face KJ Jefferson for the third year in a row and all that. Um, you know, I know the first time we faced him was two years ago, but just kind of what stands out about him and how do you feel like he's kind of gotten better over the course of his career? Because I know you obviously don't focus on him every time except when you play him, but yeah. it's kind of one of the things that kind of stood out. Uh, I think it's easy to see what stands out. His size, <laughs> his size stands out for sure, but I think over the past two, three years, he's gotten better at reading defenses and executing the pass game, and he's become a real threat through the air too. Can you – Walk us through what you saw. Obviously, you know, you recover the fumble, but on, on that play, um, there kind of changed the game early. Uh, you saw what I saw during the play? Yes, sir. During the fumble? Uh, actually, I missed a tackle that play. <laughs> so, I uh, missed a tackle. I look back and I just see Dejon and him colliding. <laughs> and I just saw the ball out and went for it. So, that was a really good play by Dejon. It gave a lot of energy to the crowd. It, when talking specifically about some of those miscues defensively, Lane, one of the things Lane pointed out was blown coverages and all that. You, did you, I guess, looking back on the game, did you, could you feel, find a kind of a common denominator in some of those ones that you may be talking about? Um, I would say communication. I would say communication was the main thing. And um, I think we were there in the spots. We just have to make tackles on contact and um, negate more yardage after contact. Trey, obviously, I'm sure you've put up with him in practice your fair share. I'm curious what makes Trey Harris such a difficult cover. Um, I would say his versatility. I would say his versatility. He's very smart and uh, keen in on route running. He knows to get how to get to his spots efficiently. And, of course, when the ball's in the air, he plays it like it's his. So that makes him an elite wide receiver. Arkansas put up a, a lot of points and a lot of yards uh, on you guys last year. Is that something that as a defense you still talk about, knowing that you're facing them again, you have a chance to maybe get things right this time? Yeah, obviously. Obviously, they put up a lot of points, and we're ready to fix that. They, have, they put up a lot of points two years ago, too. So we're looking forward to looking forward to that battle Saturday. From a teammate's perspective, what has Dejan been able to add to that secondary for you all? Juice and energy, for sure. Juice and energy. That's all that. That's all swag, too. He brings it, and he uh, fires up the crowd. He fires us up on the sideline, and he's going to make sure we're energized for the game. Even though you guys gave up 49 points, you guys uh, made two stops at the end when you guys really needed it the most. How, how encouraging is that for you guys, especially the secondary on that last play? Yeah, that fourth quarter, I'll give all the credit to the crowd. The uh, operations that uh, show, that red show, before fourth quarter, it really got us hyped up, and we were ready to go out there and play defense. So I just want to give all the credit to the uh, community for that um, for that uh, quarter. Is that good? All right. Yep. Appreciate it, all. Sure.